Thanks for listening to English Go podcast. If you'd like to listen without adverts, read episode transcripts, or listen to extra bonus episodes, please check the description for more details. Oh my goodness, the weather has been amazingly hot recently. So if you look at the forecast, it's just consistently over 30 degrees every single day here in Japan. And I'm definitely not used to weather like this back in England. Sometimes in England we'll have the occasional, the occasional night when it's really, really hot on the evening, really, really hot at night time. And when you're trying to sleep, it's quite uncomfortable because it's hot and it's sort of like sticky and muggy and not very pleasant, not easy to sleep under those conditions. And of course, not many people have air conditioning in England. It's very, very rare.、Um, so everyone just sleeps with their window open, but it doesn't really help that much. So you just have these nights when you're、uh, sort of like a bit uncomfortable. But like I say, it's, it's occasional, it's rare, it doesn't happen often.、Um, so you know, maybe it's like one night, and then the next night it's fine, it goes back to normal and nice and cool at night. Um, or a couple of nights, and then it's fine.、Um, but recently, it's just been every single night is like that. And it, it never ends. <laughs> I don't think it will end, not for a long time. I think、um, we're in、uh, July now, and it's going to get even hotter in August. And then September's probably going to be similar to July again. So, yeah, we, we've got another, I think, another. Three months probably of this kind of really hot, sort of humid, very muggy weather ahead of us.、Um, which isn't great when you're sleeping. I mean, everyone, pretty much everyone, has、um, air conditioning over here, and we have an air conditioning unit too. And I could use it at night, but I don't know. I don't really like sleeping with air conditioning on, especially if it like, ends up blowing on you. It's, I don't know, it makes me feel too cold at night. So, hmm, I don't know what to do about that yet. Maybe I should try a fan, just a normal fan, and see if that helps. Anyway,、um, temperature and sleeping related talk aside, so、I、put that to one side for one moment.、Um, I've been seeing some、um, unbelievable、uh, thunderstorms. Just absolutely amazing thunderstorms that I didn't know could exist. I didn't know thunder was like this. <laughs>、um, I've been looking out of the window and it's just, it looks like,、uh, you know, when there's a, like a celebrity or some famous person and there's a load of like media around them,、uh, like paparazzi surrounding them. And Everyone's taking pictures on the camera, and there's lots of camera flashes like flash, 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 flash. The sky looked like that, and I didn't think that was even possible. It was just an amazing amount of、um, lightning, and there was lightning in the sky, and then there was lightning that was fork lightning, and it was, it was coming down to, to the earth, you know, from the, from the clouds and then hitting the earth. And I was sitting outside. On my balcony,、um, watching it all, and it was at night time, so it was、mm, a little cool, and、uh, just enjoying watching the, the thunderstorm because it was quite far away. And then I noticed it was getting windier and windier, and I thought,、mm, maybe it's coming this way. And、um, then the rain started coming as well.、And、I thought, yep, it's definitely coming this way. And I was watching it for a while, and Some of it was getting a bit loud.、Um, but then there was this one st- strike, you know, this one bolt of lightning that hit the ground. And it must have been, it can't have been that far away. I don't know. Maybe around a kilometer, two kilometers. I'm not sure exactly how far it was. But it was loud. And、um, I was recording a video at the time. And so I managed to capture this,、um, this bolt of lightning 
on the video, but as soon as the, uh, as, as soon as the, the, like a clap of thunder, that big boom, uh, sound come, came like my, you can see I was jumping and the camera, the camera sort of shaking, you know, the video shaking because it scared me so much. <laughs> I got up and I went inside, inside the flat, inside my apartment, just because it was getting a bit scary, to be honest. You know, I like, I like thunderstorms. I like watching thunderstorms. Um, but when it starts coming close to you, it starts to get a bit scary and you think, am I, am I safe here? Uh, so we're quite high up, like above the 10th floor um, of a, a block of flats. And so if, if the lightning is going to strike anywhere near here, it's probably going to strike one of these uh, blocks of flats, isn't it? Because it's so high up. Um, and that would be scary because that would be really, really loud, like amazingly loud. Um, so yeah, I was, that's why I came in really, because I thought mm, maybe it's going to strike the building and that, that will be too scary, like too loud. And it will make me jump. I don't like jumpy things, like things that make you jump. So, you know, like if, um, if a dog's, so sometimes my dog at home, uh, plays with a balloon and I don't like it because you can, you know, it's, it's biting like the end of the balloon and you think any second now that balloon's going to burst and like the, the suspense, you know, I don't like the suspense. So that's why I came in. It's like, uh, it might, it might strike the building. It might be really loud. It might, I don't know. When is it going to happen? Uh, so yeah, I had to come in. It's just too stressful. <laughs> but apart from that, it's, um, I really enjoying, I've been really enjoying watching the thunderstorms and it happens not just once. It seems to be happening every other day. Um, I was watching, I think just yesterday, I was watching a thunderstorm in the daytime, which is rare. Well, I, at least in, in England, I don't remember seeing like, um, like a bolt of lightning in the daytime before, but I could just um, watch it from my balcony. So that was something new. And something else I was quite surprised by is the amount of times that that thunder will, or like a, bo- a bolt of lightning will strike the same place. Um, because we have some saying in English uh, about like a bolt, like thunder only strikes, I can't remember what it is. I don't know if you look it up, sorry. <laughs> That's it. I've just looked it up and it is actually lightning never strikes the same place twice. That's a common phrase um, that I think maybe most people know in England and you use it like when something bad has happened and it sort of means like, well, something bad has happened, but don't worry, it won't happen again. Um, although you can actually use it for like good things as well. Um, I don't know, like if someone won the lottery, uh, then yeah, it's not going to happen again. Well, the chances are very little of it happening again, but anyway, I think that's a load of rubbish. I mean, in England, yes, it's true. I've never seen lightning strike the same place twice. But a couple of nights ago, I saw lightning strike the same place four times. And um, it's not just my imagination, because I recorded a video of it. And when I watched the video back, and like I watched it frame by frame, like very slowly, I can see one, two, three, four times it hit the ground in exactly the same place. I've never seen anything like it. Just unbelievable thunderstorms lately. But I suppose the conditions are ideal for thunderstorms. It's very humid. It's very warm. Um, so that's perfect, isn't it? Actually, there's a song uh, I've just remembered. And it has the lyrics in it. Um, Thunder only happens when it's raining. That's a song by an artist called Fleetwood Mac. Song called Dreams. I think that's actually. I think that's quite an old song. I think it's from the seventies. Um, but anyway, um, I wonder if that's true. Thunder only happens when it's raining. I don't know. Possibly, is that one of the conditions for thunder to strike? Does it have to be raining? I don't know. It's quite interesting. I want to look it up now. I want to. I want to look it up on Wikipedia and see what the answer is. Um, but yeah, possibly. 
um, at least the uh, the thunderstorms I've been seeing um, recently, they have there's been rain somewhere. Having said that, though, I do remember these absolutely gigantic, like um, big flashes of lightning hap- happening right over my head, and it wasn't raining where I was. It was raining much further away in the distance. So mm, maybe. Maybe if it's raining, then the thunder can come down from the sky to the earth. And maybe if it's not raining, it just stays in the sky. Who knows? I'm sure Wikipedia does. So yeah, I'll look it up later. But uh, yeah, so that's my update recently. Just incredible thunder. Anyway, thank you very much for listening. And I look forward to speaking to you again soon. Bye bye.